Hi, and welcome to this section of the elementary and middle school tutor, where we're going to learn about subtracting one and two digit numbers. Now, it's very similar to addition. The only thing that you need to really think about is that subtraction is the opposite of addition, but you'll see that as we start to work from the right-hand column onto the left, it's very, very similar. We just need to go and learn about a little bit about subtraction, and uh, we'll learn about the differences along the way, and we'll work some problems. So let's go ahead and learn how to subtract one and two digit numbers. What if you had five minus two? Now this is what we call subtraction. So instead of adding these two together, we're going to take the difference, okay? Now what that means, though, is that if you had five balls to begin with, two, three, four, five, okay? And I'm gonna subtract two balls from it, okay? Okay, here's the two balls here. What I'm really doing here is I'm basically sub going to subtract two balls from the five. So I'm going to take one ball away, two balls away. I'm going to take them away. They're gone. I've given them off to my grandmother. Okay, I don't have them anymore. I had five to begin with. I took two away. How many do I have left? That is what subtraction is. Okay. Now you can see that in this case you have three balls left. So the way you would write this is a five on the top, a two on the bottom with a subtraction sign. Okay. And then you would, um, you would write down the answer just below here, and that would be a 3. Now, you can write your balls down, and you could scratch off numbers, and then you would be able to, to find the answer. But just like in addition, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard to do, because if you have like 34 balls, I mean, you have to write all these on the board. So you can, um, you can learn and, and, and do what I'm going to teach you here, and that's going to be for small numbers here, you could just start with five, like in this case, take two away, one, two, and how many do you have left? Well, you have three. So then we knew we could put the three down here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to work some problems with subtraction of one and two digit numbers. Now let's say you have seven minus five. Now I could put seven balls down, okay, and uh, we, could, we could take five balls away, but what we're going to do is we're going to write them on top like this, okay? Okay, so you start with 7, and then you want to subtract 5 from it. So you just go backwards, okay? You start with 7, we're going to take 5 away. So starting at 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We took 5 away, and we got 2 is the answer. So 2 is going to be here, and that's exactly the answer, okay? Now, notice that you can go ahead and draw your balls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and um, we start with seven, and you can take five of those balls away. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we took five away. We have two left. Okay, that's fine. That's exactly right. But you'll find that as the numbers get bigger and bigger, it's going to be hard to write all these on the board, and so I'm trying to teach you how to, how to use your fingers there and help you out. Okay, now... You can kind of think of subtraction as the opposite of addition, and that is, in fact, exactly what it is. Okay, what if you had 10 minus 7? 10 minus 7, okay? Well, first thing we want to do is we want to write the numbers on top of each other, just like before. We're going to put a subtraction sign, okay? Now let's go ahead and, and use our fingers here. Starting at 10, we're going to take 7 away. Starting at 10, 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So we took 7 away, and we're going to have 3 in the end, okay? So the, we're, we did this using the counting method here, counting. So that's exactly what we did there. Now let's go ahead and do another problem, and I'm going to start to teach you the real way in which you're going to do subtraction when the problems get a little bit harder. 15 minus 4. Okay, we're going to write that the same way, 15 on the top, 4 on the bottom, subtract. Now, we could take 15 and start to subtract 4 away, so 14, 13, 12, 11. Okay, we're going to have 11. So we know the answer is going to be 11. But what we're going to do is we're going to start to do it kind of like we did the addition. We're going to start in the right-hand column. And instead of adding these two together, because that's what you do when you, you add things together, we're going to subtract them. Start at the top number, subtracting the bottom number. 5 minus 4 is just going to give you 1. And to convince yourself of that, if you start with 5, 
and you take four away, well, you only have one left, okay? So you just put the one there. It's a single digit, so you can just put the one there, okay? And then here, we're done with this column. Now, in this column here, you've got one minus zero. Anything minus zero is just going to give you itself. So you're going to have another one here. So the answer is going to be 11. And that's exactly what we got when we did the counting method, which means that we did it right, okay? Which means that we did it right. So let's go ahead and work up some examples that are a little bit, a little bit harder so we can learn how to do these. 18 minus 7, how would you do that? You write your 18 on the top, and you write your 7 on the bottom, okay? Just like before, whoops, except we're not doing any addition, we're doing subtraction, okay? You start in the right-hand column, and you say 8 minus 7. So this is a bigger number minus a smaller number. 8 minus 7 is going to give you 1, because if you have 8 pencils, and you take 7 of them, and you throw them in the trash, how many do you have left? Well, you have 1 left, okay? So you put a 1 down. You're done with that column. Now here, 1 minus 0 gives you 1, okay? Again, the answer is going to be 11. So you can kind of start to see a pattern in a relationship here between addition. You start in the right-hand column, and you work left, okay? You work left, and you just write the numbers down as you subtract them. Now this next problem is going to be a little bit different. You need to make absolutely sure you understand this next problem. 24 minus 6. Okay, so you write your 24 on the top, you write your 6 on the bottom, and you're doing a subtraction. Now, what you want to do, again, is you start in the right-hand column, okay, and you want to say 4 minus 6. Now, the first thing that you should realize or think about is, usually when you're doing a subtraction, like 5 minus 4 gives you 1, 5 minus 1 gives you 4, 5 minus 3 gives you 2. You always start with the bigger number, and you subtract the smaller number from it, okay? That's what subtraction is. You have 10 apples, you throw five apples in the trash, how many apples do you have left? You have five apples left. You start with a bigger number, you throw some of them away, you're subtracting them, okay? And then you have some left over, okay? But here, if you start in this column and you have four minus six, you're starting off with a smaller number. Four is smaller than six. So if you only have four apples and you're trying to take six away, what do you do? The answer is, you can't do this exactly like it's written here. Anytime you have a smaller number on the top and a bigger on, number on the bottom, you have to, to borrow, okay? Fortunately, you can borrow from the bank here, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little one here next to the four because I'm gonna borrow, I'm gonna borrow some points away from the two here. I'm gonna scratch through the two and I'm gonna put a one here. Now let me explain what we did here. We borrowed, okay? We took, we took one away from the two, okay? We, we took it out of the bank. So this two is no longer there in the problem. It is now one, okay? But since we borrowed, we, we added some numbers to the four here, and we added 10 more. So we put a one in, so we have a 14. So we've changed the problem now. You have 14 minus six, and now you have one minus zero. And I know that that may not make a whole lot of sense, but as you work a lot of problems, you'll get the hang of it, okay? So in the end, what we want to do next is we want to take 14 and subtract 6 from it, which we can do in our fingers. 14, starting at 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay? It means we're going to have 8 left. Okay? And now we're done with that column. Now we have 1 here. Remember, this 2 is no longer there. That's why I drew a line through it. We have a 2. Uh, excuse me, we have a 1 left. So 1 minus 0 gives me 1. So the answer is going to be 18. Now real quickly, I want to go over it one more time to make sure you're clear. In the original problem, 4 minus 6, you don't know how to do it because you have a smaller number on the top. We have to make that number bigger somehow. So how do you do it? You borrow from the bank. You put a 1 next to it, and this is not 4 plus 1. This is a 1 next to it, and that makes it a 14. But that 1 has to come from somewhere. So you put a line through the number to the left, you just put a line through it, and then you make it 1 less because you're borrowing one from it. So two minus one gives you one, that's why it's a one here. So we took one away from this column and we gave it to this column. That's all we did, we borrowed from the two. We took one away from this column and we put it in this column. 
And so making this 14, now we have a bigger number on the top. 14 minus 6 gives you 8, and then 1 minus 0 gives you 1. Okay, let's move on and do some other problems. Okay, 27 minus 11. Okay, we just want to write the 27 on the top, the 11 on the bottom with a subtraction. Let's start in the rightmost column. 7 minus 1 gives you 6, okay, and then you're done. So you move to the left. 2 minus 1 gives you 1. So the answer is 16. We didn't have to do any borrowing because each number was bigger on the top than it was on the bottom. Okay, what if you had 34 minus 27? Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to put the 34 on the top, that's the bigger number on the top, and then you want to put the 27 on the bottom, which is the smaller number on the bottom. You want to start in the right-hand column and try to subtract 4 minus 7. Here you have the same problem as before. 4 is less than 7. So you, you can't do that. You have to have a, the bigger number on the top. So how do you do that? You borrow from the bank. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow one from this column. So I'm going to put a line through the 3 and I'm going to make it a 2 because we borrowed. But since we're going to borrow from it, we're just going to put a 1 here. So what we did is we borrowed from this column and we gave it to this column. So we made this a 2 and we put a 1 in front here to make this a 14. Okay, we borrowed from this column, we gave to this column. So 14 now minus 7 is just going to give you 7, and you can do that on your fingers starting at 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, gives you a 7, and then 2 minus 2 gives you 0, and I don't even need to add to write the 0 down. You certainly can. You could, you could put a zero here if you want, but anytime the zero is in front, it really just doesn't mean anything. So the answer is seven. Okay. So in this case, we had to borrow one from this column and give it to this column to make this a 14 so that we could do the subtraction. So basically, anytime you're working on subtraction, you've got to be having, you have to have a big number subtracting a smaller number from it. It's the only way it's going to work. And if you don't have that, you're going to have to do some borrowing. So you have 62 minus 34, okay? 62, 34, let's subtract, okay? Same problem as before. In this column, 2 minus 4 is not going to work. You have a smaller number on the top, so we're going to have to borrow and make that a bigger number, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to borrow from the next column over. We're going to scratch out that 6. It's now going to be a 5 because we borrowed from it. And we're going to put that thing that we borrowed right in front of the 2 here, and we're going to make it a 12. Okay? Now we have 12 on top and 4 on bottom. We can do that. So 12 minus 4 is going to give you 8. If you take 12 and subtract 4 from it, it's going to give you 11, 10, 9, 8. Subtract 4, we got 8. So you just put the 8 down. And then 5 minus 3, because you know, the 6 is no longer in the problem. 5 minus 3 is just going to give you 2. And so the answer is going to be 28. Now let's do one more of these borrowing problems. 91 minus 76. We're going to write it down with the bigger number on the top. That's very important. And the smaller number on the bottom. And right away, working on this column, you should see that you've got a problem because you've got a smaller number on the top. 1 minus 6 isn't going to work. You've got to have a bigger number there. So we need to borrow. Okay, we're going to borrow from the next column. We're going to scratch out this 9, and we're going to put an 8 there because we're borrowing from it. And we're going to put a 1 in front of here because we're taking 1 away from here, and we're adding it here. And so you have 11 now. 11 minus 6 in this column, 11 minus 6 is just going to give you 5. Okay, 11 minus 6 is going to give you 5 because you can go starting at 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And then we're done with this column, and then over in this column, 8 minus 7 is just going to give us 1. So the answer is going to be 15. So basically, you do it exactly the same thing as addition, starting in the right-hand column, working left. So that's exactly what we did up here. We had in the right-hand column a smaller number on the top and a bigger number on the bottom, so we had to borrow. We borrowed from the 6 here, 
scratched it out, put a 5, so we took 1 away, we got a 5. We borrowed and made this a 12 by putting a 1 in front. Now we had 12 minus 4 and 5 minus 3, and we could do those two subtractions with no problem. And the same thing happened here. We had a 1 minus 6, which was, you can't do that because you got a smaller number on the top. So we borrowed. We made, we took 1 away from here, made it an 8. We added it to here by putting a 1 in front, made this an 11. 11 minus 6 gave us 5. 8 minus 7 gave us 1. And so we just worked from the right, made our way to the left. And that is how you do subtraction of one and two digit numbers.